Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver and it's Look Who It Is, we're welcoming you back. It's, we're welcoming It's Look Who Is Back to It Is, uh, and It's World of Horror, that's what it is. And then they'll change what it is, and what it is will be new and scary to you. And, you know, it'll happen to you in the back, etc, etc. Jonathan. Knight Errant all unlock perk cards, and then I picked random timeline. Oh boy. Gazoo Knight Errant. Gonna read this book before I grab my old shotgun that I'm going to use as a club because bullets are ineffective in this world. Um. I do love how Olympia Gang starts with two shells. You love to see it. So we've got Light Source, Charisma, Strength, Knowledge, and then your second Mystery, and then the boss. So we are actually encouraged to get a Light Source, and we'll just open it up right now. Here's the thing. I am 110% convinced you could open this door very easily. First of all, these locks look absolutely pathetic, right? You could just use the old shotgun to, like, bash a couple of these locks off. Because what, there's literally four of them, and then it's this bastard right here, this keyway. And first of all, this, this keyway, look at how straight it is. It's not paracentric, it's not diagonal, it doesn't have a zigzag preventing you from getting the lockpick in there. LPL could have this shit open in like five seconds. He wouldn't even need a pick, he'd just use the rake tool. In fact, you might even be able to, if this is unshielded, you might just be able to reach in there and pop it open in five seconds, or less. Actually, significantly faster. Also, this the, this wall looks like it's actually just crumbling. I, I feel like one shotgun shell just aimed in this direct vicinity could just, like, blast the entire door off. Or, you know, if you get strong enough, you could just punch a hole in the door. There's a lot of ways you could get into this lighthouse, especially with a gun. But uh, anyways, what are we talking about? What are we doing? I don't know. I don't know. So actually, I do have something to talk about. It's pretty important. Uh, I am completely fucked. So here's what happened. We're looking for a new peer healer for our free for our free company's static. And the person who applied... A little bit of context in case you missed some of the earlier episodes. I'm the fill for my free company static, and normally I would be a healer main, but because I'm filling, I had to start leveling Black Mage, and Black Mage actually kind of fucks. Like, Black Mage is actually incredibly fun. And so, what ended up happening was, I learned Black Mage, got it up to level 90, I'm having a blast doing it, uh, and I want to play Black Mage now. And so, instead of just filling in as healer, which is what I know, I'm deciding to learn Black Mage instead. Hello, dog. Yes, I hear you. I do indeed hear you. Hello. Uh, she's sitting under my table right now as, like, uh, on my foot rest, which is slang for my broken chair that exploded. Um, <laughs> it's a different story. That's a different arc. That's a different anecdote. Uh, so I'm playing Black Mage, and Black Mage is incredibly hard. And... It is probably one of the harder jobs to play in the game properly. Like, it's very easy to play Black Mage because you do Fire 3 and then spam Fire 4s and then use the Despair at the end and then you switch to Ice and then you go back to spamming Fire 4s. But actually playing Black Mage properly is incredibly difficult, incredibly esoteric, incredibly fucking hard, and it's probably one of the hardest jobs in the game to play properly, which is what I'm trying to do. And so I was I was holding a advertisement for fucking uh a pure healer and somebody joined and they were like yeah listen i'm gonna be busy in the entire month of october but i want to join your static and i was like okay uh, as long as you can commit to after that i guess i don't mind bringing phil's in for like three weeks and you know what this I, and i was fine with that i was a little skeptical about it but they seemed pretty like into it um and i made the mistake I made the mistake of looking them up on the uh, the funny website that's illegal, 
Uh, evil, evil me did that. Evil twin me who doesn't uh, exist and they have a completely different account, they did that. And, ooh, we get a free light source here. That's actually pretty nice. Actually, do we want to go there first? Why not? Because I don't think we're going to buy a compass, so we're not losing out any value. If we want to buy a compass, we go uh, bulletin first. Buy the compass. Actually, I think that's exactly what we want to do, yeah. Bulletin first, we buy the compass, then we go in and get a light source for free. Um, but what was I going to say? I can't get this because it's useless, but what about this? I mean, it's better than refreshing, I think. And I say that very lightly <laughs> because it's actually probably worse. But um, it's, it, it's better to never go and get the map. I'm pretty sure than it is to go once, get the map, and then leave. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, oh shit, minus two doom. The map is paid for basically half of itself. We just need it to happen th two more times, and then it'll be like, ah, oh, we're finally getting map value. Hell yeah. Um, but anyways, I looked at this person's funny numbers, and not only... Are they a multiple legend? They've done Uwu, they've done T, uh, and those are only the legacy ones, actually. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's look at the current... The current ultimates. No DSR, no top. Okay, so legacy ultimates, admittedly, which is still incredibly impressive. You know, doing T, doing UU, that's really impressive, all right? You 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 can't uh you can't scoff at that all you can't scoff at that at all. Now here's where it gets fucking terrifying. Um They are on their main, a black mage main. So already, that's like, oh shit, I have to ball with an ex a very experienced black mage. But this is the part where it gets even more terrifying for me, alright? And this is potentially a fantastic opportunity for me, uh, because I am trying to seriously learn black mage. Um, here's the deal. They are a gold-parsing black mage. And they get gold parses in ultimates and savages. And their clear parses, or at least their, like, fucking re-clear parses or whatever, in fucking Anabasios, above average, in the 60-plus range. And I'm just like, oh, you're, you're going for ultimate re-clearies on Friday? Oh, wow. And you're, you're getting uh, how many gold, gold parses on Black Mage? It, it, it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. It's so fucking intimidating, man. It's so... It's so intimidating. It's so scary. It's like you have somebody who is literally, legitimately, like, one of the best black mages. Uh, like, absolutely fucking cracked fantastic. Like, th this is somebody who's basically a master of their job. And they want to, like, just hang out and chill on my main role while I'm playing their main role. And it's like, they're going to play my main role better? They're, they're going to play my main role better than me. And I'm going to play their main role significantly more dog shit than, like, unacceptably dog shit. For... Oh god. <laughs> I'm freaking out over here, man. This shit's terrifying. This shit is fucking scary, man. How could I, like... Like, Jesus Christ. What, what, what can I even say? It's so terrifying. Like, this person is an expert. They're, they're, they're literally like a master of their fucking job. And then they're gonna come on and I, I looked at their white mage... I looked at their funny white mage numbers, and their funny white mage numbers, uh, they only have a, um, one, they only have two kills logged, and 
I I want to see. I I want to I want to cry. I want to cry right now, okay? I beat them by one. <laughs> they play my fucking my main job and I only beat their funny bars number by one. And that's just like an off roll for them because they're like one of the best fucking black mages. Like it's actually fucking terrifying. Like it's it's horrifying. And now obviously somebody who's that skilled and that good. We actually already have somebody who uh, joined our FC static. He's not a part of our free company who is a legend and is very, very, very good at the game. But he's been around long enough, and he did a very good job of, like, immediately, like, hum- Like, he's very humble, you know? He doesn't make you feel intimidated at all. He's just, like, a very fun guy to hang out with. And so you kind of forget that he's a- he's a legend, and that he's, like, stupidly good at the game. Because he'll sometimes goof off mid-raid and, like, purposely fuck up or something, you know? It it's very easy to forget that he's, like, stupidly good at the game. Uh, and that's not an insult. I mean that in the most loving way possible. We we love our homeboy. Um, but, like, when you're meeting somebody for the first time, and I just bumped my microphone, I apologize for that. If you're meeting somebody for the first time, and your introduction to them is, oh, hey, so you know the, the job that you're currently learning? Uh, yeah, that's their main, and they're one of the best. Like, just period, they're one of the best. Like, go gold parsing black mage. And it's like, Gold parsing in ultimates, too. They even got a, a fucking 100 and are officially ranked. Like, that is some of the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. Because it's like, I'm going to be walking in there. I'm going to be doing raid callouts. I'm the raid leader. And I'm going to be doing, like, fucking 10k in my dreams. And they're just going to be looking at me like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? But I don't know. They might be incredibly cool, might be incredibly humble. Like, here's the thing. If they're awesome, they're awesome, right? Like, at the end of the day, no matter how good somebody is, they have to get along with our group. And the legend who came along and joined us uh, is a guy who was incredibly cool. We all love him. Everybody wanted him immediately. People wanted to... It, it, people made me cancel all the other tryouts that we had. Because everybody immediately loved him. He was a great guy. Um, it, like, literal, like, dream fairy tale fucking level of catch right there. Uh, no way I'm gonna eat that. I'm a picky eater. And then, you know, the restaurant person makes a TikTok saying, I just wish Moriko's dad made her try salmon once as a kid. <laughs> but, um, I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. But it's like, so obviously, like, it doesn't matter how good they are. Like, if they if they went in there, immediately kicked ass, and we cleared, but they were, like, a massive dickhead to everybody, they I, I wouldn't let them come back, you know? Um, if they're, like, cool, like, if they're neutral or good, and that's, like, everyone's opinion about them, they're in. Um, they're just period, right? Like, there's nothing, um, right? Does that make sense? We'll follow the awful tradition, that's fine. But, um... Uh, unless they're just an incredibly humanized person immediately, who's, like, really down-to-earth, humble, really chill, you know, like a... You know, like a person in a fairy tale. <laughs> then, you know... Uh, I think I'm gonna, like, have a panic... I'm gonna have, like, a fucking heart attack. Uh, but if they're awesome and they can mentor me as a black mage, uh, you know, you'll see me up there. I'll be getting gold barses in, like, six years. <laughs> and then I'll be, like, a, a grizzled fucking veteran, like, six or eight years from now. I'll be like, ah, yeah, you know, back in, back in my day, like, how did I get good at black mage, kiddos? Well, you see, I was mentored by one of the best. You know, that's unironically what happens, though. Like, people who are really, really, really good at the game, like Ultimate Raiders, they have mentors. Like, people who taught them how to play the game. And they remember those people incredibly fondly. And I guess my friend who got me into this game is, like, my main, like, mentor lady. But she is not... Well, at the time that she got me into the game and she taught me everything I knew, she was not, you know, one of the best in the world. 
like we kind of got to a similar level and then she just like said all right peace out loser and then she became like a gold parsing dark knight you know um and i don't have any interest in playing dark knight so i don't need to get any advice from her and also because we're because we're like thick as thieves getting any advice from her it would be like it, it, it would be like oh god it would be unbearable she would beat my ass Uh, I think we go to Peculiar Painting now, right? Get the get the flashlight. Yeah, it's probably good. Like, you can't really have... Well, I guess Araki said that you could, and then he wrote JoJo's Part 7. But you can't really have a mentor-friendship mm. relationship, if that makes sense, right? You would have to have, like, I am the mentor and you are the student sort of thing. Um, because listen, JoJo's Part 7 is peak fiction, but also it's fiction. Um, and so, I, I mean, listen, I love the, the Gyro-Johnny relationship. It's absolutely fantastic. But they are buddies. They are friends. They're the same age. And so the Jonathan and the um, Zappelli relationship, I was going to call him Caesar, the Jonathan and Zappelli relationship, uh it kind of makes more sense for me but you know the the part seven thing is like two bros going on a road trip and one of those guys is like incredibly skilled at killing people <laughs> and then johnny's just kind of there um but what was i gonna say yeah no two friends who one who was like mediocre at the game taught the other one how to be mediocre at the game and then one of them went on to be the fucking like ultimate legend gold parsing andy um you know, that, that's just not where I am yet. I, I need more time before I get to that. But, like, getting somebody who's, like, potentially having the opportunity to meet somebody who is that stupidly good at Black Mage and I want to learn how to play Black Mage properly, that's potentially, like, an insane, right? Like, that is potentially an insane level of, like, boost that I potentially have. So, you know, I, I'm thinking, like, okay, the static's got to be on their best behavior, but I got to be on, on my best behavior. Th th this is meeting somebody who is, like, insanely qualified for what they're doing. There, there could be no better person to help me learn. And so it's an insane, like, twist of fate, I guess you could say. It's actually kind of fucking nuts. Uh, but it all... <laughs> it's one of the days of all time. I think you gotta go with Fast Swimmer, honestly, brother. Uh, and then I'm just gonna put a point to Perception, because 7 Perception with the attack speed boost. Remember that the Moriko gun perk is, like, 20%, and Fast Swimmer is, like, 15%. So, it's actually technically worse, so we might still need, feel the need to uh, buff up our perception. Although, I really do wish we had Doomed already as well. Doomed already is really fucking good. But, I'm worried about our combat potential. Especially because we just had to kill an enemy, who I think that was our second enemy, right? Or was that our first enemy? I don't even know. I think that might have been our first enemy whole ridden thing. Did we do botany at all? I don't even think we did. I'm not paying attention. You think I'm paying attention to this shit? This is what I do during raid of a raid that I've already done like 80 times. Is I just talk shit because I don't need to focus what's going on in the screen right now. It'll all work itself out and sometimes we wipe and sometimes we win. Who knows and who cares? But like, now that I'm going to be going in on Black Mage, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, that's going to that was always going to be incredibly hard and now like it, it listen if they, without me asking, in a way that could potentially be interpreted as rude, criticize me during our Monday raid, I think I'm just going to collapse into, like, a black hole. Like, just on the spot. You know what I mean? Just on the spot. I'm going to go into the fucking training arc. I'm going into the fucking cave over the weekend. I have to be able to put up at least a double digit. I have to put up. I have to be able to at least put up double digits. Like, I, I am going to be like, there has never been more pressure on me to be like not dog shit at the game as a black mage. 
Because originally, you know, it was haha -ha funny, like, you know, hey, I'm your FC leader is gonna go in and on Black Mage, he's gonna be fucking awful for months. It's gonna be great. Everybody's gonna have extra time to practice their damage rotations because we're gonna hit and rage so much. And now it's like, hey, there's somebody who can play your alt job to the same level as you, uh, and they're a Black Mage main, and they're also one of the best. And it's like, oh, neat. And then you just, like, die in the inside a little bit, and then you get, like, really scared. And then you rant about it for 20 minutes to, uh, an audience of people who do not give a shit about that game at any, in any capacity. There's, like, maybe two people who might be watching who I know play this game. And that's, like, that's saying something. Most people are just like, oh, good, another Final Fantasy XIV anecdote. He's not gonna pay attention to who the fucking second enemy or the second mystery is, and then he's gonna fucking doom out the dumbass. And he's not streaming, so I can't tell him what it is, the stupid moron idiot. And it's like, yeah, it's look who it is. Oh, hell yeah. It's Knight Errant. Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> I just realized that it's night errant. Oh my god. Oh, we're fucked. It's over. It's Jover. Like, look at this. This is actually pretty bad. Like, you have to admit, like, the the firearms perk is better. Um. Okay. So we block. But this does boost our blocking. So there's a there's a big benefit there, alright? That we don't normally have. And then, um, to talk about, to distract myself for something else, um, I finally got to watch, uh, Puss in Boots The Last Wish, and that movie is fucking incredible. I loved it. It was paced brilliantly. The idea of Goldilocks being like a, um, how do I put it, like an orphan who was taken care of by the bears and she's a part of the bears family and they're like a gang um big jack horner was great um it like i, I don't, like i don't even know what to say it was it was a, an amazing movie death was great too although i will say the ending felt a little anticlimactic but it was thematically appropriate because it wasn't about defeating death because you can't do that Spoiler alert, you cannot defeat the inevitability of death. Um, this is not a fucking studio trigger anime movie where the, you know, um, entropic death of the universe can be defeated by a, uh, a, a, a definitely not gay firefighter and his, uh, fire boyfriend, right? Like, that's not, um, we ain't in a studio trigger kind of world right now, or at least they're not. Um, uh, no, we just, we just schmooze, we just run. Cut arm sinew is, uh, not great. But, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, run? No, 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 no. Yes, run. We want to take the stamina. And then we want to go to the freaking hospital so we can get this cut arm sinew taken care of, because minus damage kind of sucks. But here's what we can do, right? We can take 2% doom... Or, hear me out, hear me, hear me out, let me cook, let me cook. I have, I never thought we would do anything like this, but it's look who it is. And then we just pray that we get the good ending here. Because we're taking doom no matter what. Like, in order to get ending A, you have to spend 5% doom, and 6% doom is the penalty. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, we're taking 5% doom. That's ending A, though. That's true. Oh, that's fantastic. We love that. But, um... I'll take it. I'll take the 4% attack speed. I will. Was there a strength check? I don't know, but there is now. In my mind. In my mind palace. That's how you level up. You go into your mind palace. Uh, Wordless Ward, Ramen... I mean, this achieves the same thing, to be honest with you. But I would rather do ramen? Yeah, I'd rather do ramen. Um, uh, but we can sell the map now, actually, now that I was thinking about it. 
Um, because I, I wanted to just get, like, random money. Uh, I'm dumb as hell, by the way. Like, why would I do this? I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm dumb as hell. We're, we're, we're running. That was a throw on my part. But, actually, hold on. Do we want to do this? Go down to 6-7? Six, 6-7? Seven? Six, seven? Six, seven? I don't want to go down to 6-7. Get me out of here. Give me the money. Me? When it's fear and hunger? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll uh, I'll be here all night. Funger mentioned, goddamn right, Funger mentioned. Um, I, I love, by the way, the only reason I go on Twitter is to see Fear and Hunger fan art. It's true, and I retweet like ninety percent of it that I see. Need more Olivia fan art, though. Absolutely need more Olivia fan art. Uh, what was I gonna say? I don't even know anymore. I don't want to fucking hear it. I just saw the fucking Fear and Hunger meme video for Termina, where it's like Sam Marie is crying and Marina's just like, wah, wah, wah. I don't want to fucking hear it. Oh, that's a classic. Levy singing, Levy singing in the rain. Is that his name, Levy? I'm pretty sure it is. Hello, dog. Do not fall off of the chair. Please and thank you. I might have just outed myself as a fake fan. Sorry, I'm an Abella main. Or an Abella's main. A. Hey. I love that, by the way. That's one of my favorite things about how it's just like Z is the enter key. And so when you hit enter, you add a Z to the end of your name. That's like one of my favorite fucking things. We're just dead, right? Just dead? Just dead. Oh, that's sanity? Running in terror is sanity? You're telling me that my sanity drops when I'm scared and terrified? What? Uh, we're just dead, right? Like, we just do a little bit of that, and then it's like 64% doom, but then we've got, like... Oh, I need to discard two things. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up? Okay, we're good. Discard two items. This can go to hell. I don't need this anymore. We're never visiting the village or the forest ever again. Um, and... Um... <laughs> I can't help but notice we are we have two stamina healing items and one of them might kill us um I don't think we can get hunger again right and we're not on spider god so we're not gonna get um well no that's minus dexterity and perception what the fuck am I thinking about I have no idea we've already got hunger right does hunger stack I think it does um Two versus three, you know, it, it is a huge deal. I I think we'll probably go... We'll, we'll keep the selling kit. Because we, we need to get the timeline A. We need to get the timeline A. Also, I have like eight Discord notifications. That's like the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. That should be illegal. Hello? My dog wants to go on an adventure, but actually she just wants to go to the window because she wants to bark at the dogs that are outside. But the thing is, it's so late at night that you're not allowed to bark at the dogs outside. Don't worry, we'll run around later. I actually found this big, like, flat area that... I don't know if they're, like, saving it to build, like, another apartment building there or whatever. But it's just this, like, massive flat area that's just there. And it's got it's got grass, so I don't, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with that place. But it's just it's this massive flat area that's completely empty. Uh, a, like, a a road that's like or like a pavement that's like completely destroyed and rubbly uh oh she got away she got away she's broken containment hold on yep sorry it's look who it is it is look who it is you have to stay up here when i am bound to the computer because i can't run and get you when you start barking at the dogs outside and then we get a noise complaint and then it's so jover uh what am i saying i don't know I have no idea what the fuck I'm saying. Uh, but, like, there's this big flat area, and I take her there to run around sometimes, because that's pretty based. Also, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like... Minus three? I don't even know if we could... We could have probably desperation killed him there, but with 70% chance, I'm not... I'm not taking any chances. Oh, I did just... 
Yeah, you know, sometimes you're a fucking... I, I knew I needed to click on the right, I just accidentally left click one more time than I intended to. And this game isn't even Dark Souls, where you, like, store actions. <laughs> uh, so I think we lost, but potentially we also can win. It's entire... We lost. It's over. It's over. We get time skip now. It's fucking over, bro. It's over. <laughs> fucking hell, man. Four? Bruh. Oh yeah, of course we're not healing. Why why would we heal? That that would that would be nice. Um I don't remember one of these does minus sanity. I don't remember. Uh Okay, that was doom. That was doom. That was good. Oh, and we can't rest anymore because that was how the bug decided to get fixed. Just disable the possibility. Uh, resting skips a mystery? Take resting out of the game. I am a little salty about that. <laughs> Just a little bit. We're still gonna die, bro. We're still gonna die. Oh, I cannot believe it's so Jover, man. It's so Jowadida. Uh, we searched the cabinet. Of curiosity? We have a... I should have sold this. I should have sold the sewing kit. I should... <laughs> no way, bro. Okay, if we had... I cannot believe we lost Exclute. That's so fucking funny, man. That's so fucking funny. Just like the... And from the top rope, Doom with the steel chair. And then what they don't realize is fucking uh, Sanity has a fucking rifle, and it's just aiming down the fucking, like, audience stalls straight at my goddamn forehead. Oh my god. Can you fucking believe that there are, like, so little fucking mysteries in the hospital, or investigations of the hospital, that you get two of the generic events that can happen anywhere almost in a row like separated by like one or two investigations that's so fucking funny and then you just get fucking 100 uh, one uh, like 360 fucking no scope by somebody for and you just lose all your sanity because there's no way they hit that trick shot there's no way they're that good with the intervention they've been fishing for that for hundreds of games and they just got their first one and mum's getting the camera oh my god stay safe out there have a good one bye